Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Uh, today we're going to discuss when something is considered a limiting nutrient. So a limiting nutrient is a substance that uh, essentially runs out first. Um, it's something that's needed in a chemical reaction but isn't present in sufficient quantities um, to allow the reaction to occur. Um, so this often happens with uh, different types of growth and metabolism and those sorts of things. Um, in plants and animals and all sorts of living organisms, you often have uh, nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, and a couple other major nutrients that serve as limiting nutrients and thus uh, prevent um, growth from happening. Um, a good way to test if you think that you have a limiting nutrient um, is to in a controlled manner, only add one nutrient uh, that you think you're lacking, and if it changes and, and growth continues and picks up again, then that was probably the limiting nutrient. If nothing changes, uh, you still need to keep searching because that wasn't it. Keep searching until uh, growth is sort of restarted. Um, so this was a brief discussion of what exactly it means to be a limiting nutrient.